Good morning and welcome to Real Talk with Tamara. As you guys come into the room, please do hit the like button. Also, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. I hope that you guys are doing okay on this morning. I know that I am. I always express the importance of hitting the like button because the like button helps to keep the video in the algorithm, okay? So like, share, subscribe, comment, all of those great things, okay? Uh, I want you guys to know how much I appreciate you so much, okay? If you would like to support the channel, you can definitely support the channel via Cash App, okay? I wanted to talk about um, women uh, in Memphis and surrounding areas need to be aware. Now, when this situation happened um, with Tamia Taylor um, and the young lady on the railroad track uh, a few weeks back, okay? Um, I talked about how a few months back around May, uh, when an officer was called over to my office, um, a, um, the officer sat there and talked to me. Okay. And, uh, after we finished our, you know, doing what, what he was there to do. And he, um, he talked about how they thought, that or that there was a serial K, okay, that they had found several young ladies that were young um, around um, the Whitehaven area, uh, closer to the Westwood area, not in Westwood, but around the Whitehaven area, like around yeah. Jeter and all of those areas. And um, <clears throat> I, you know, me, I was like, well, was it? What did you the boyfriend? It was like, no, we think it's a serial K. Okay? And it's it's something because they had still to this day had yeah, not yeah. um they still had not um put that on the um news, right? They still had not put that on the news. Uh they had not tried to make the ladies uh, or the citizens and even in the surrounding areas aware. Um, of that, you know, with, with these situations going on, as I said before, when things of this nature happens, uh, it's unfortunate because number one, I don't like the way they try to hide it because they don't want to send pandemonium throughout the city. And I've always said this from day one, even when, when it was happening, um, they don't want the, um, citizens calling the police department that uh, putting pressure on them in which they should put pressure on them. And uh, citizens should always be made aware, especially if there is someone assaulting women, right? We see it happening every day. And even so now where you see people on social media uh, that becomes obsessed with people and, and start stalking and they, they team up with people in uh, that person's area to carry out their sadistic um, fetishes, right? Now, um, I wanted to, there's a young lady that came forward, okay? Uh, there's a young lady that came forward and I, I really, I want to, I want to play this, but it seems like to me that it never, they never do anything until it hits the white area. When it starts hitting like the areas where the white people are, that's when they start doing something. But most of the whites now are not, they're in like the suburban areas suburban areas and their police department like germantown kyville all of them they're gonna handle that they're gonna handle it so i i hate to say it i just feel like shelby county and the memphis police department don't do a whole lot because it's happening to african-american women okay for those of you all that always tell me she love the police i do love the police department I, i'm not mentally ill i got sense enough to know that the police department is not one damn person OK. I actually know the structure of the police department and I understand that it is the uh, it's, it starts with the mayor. OK. And then it, it trickle. Everything else trickles down. And if the mayor says, don't put that into the atmosphere, it ain't going to happen. I was trying to tell y'all that from the start. OK. Anyways, I, I want to show y'all this. OK. Why she still a lot on police is because I ain't mentally ill and I understand that it's more than one police and everybody different and that the police on the street don't make the laws. Okay. Now, let me, let me let y'all hear this. Okay. 
East Memphis apartment complex. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Greg Hurst. Hi, I'm Stephanie Skurlock. WRG's Bria Jones joins us live now after talking with the victim about her message to other women. Bria? Well, Greg said WREG doesn't normally identify victims, but this woman wanted her story told, and she wants to remind other women who live alone to always be aware of their surroundings. It's just a whole bunch of flashbacks and a whole bunch of what ifs, but I can't do nothing about that. So I just gotta keep going. Donisha Sanders is bravely sharing her story after she says she was raped earlier this month by a stranger inside her Northeast Memphis apartment. Like many survivors, she's painfully reliving her assault while courageously continuing to move forward. I go to school, I go to work, I have two kids. Just imagine that happening to you, then you gotta pick your life right back up. According to a police report, Sanders told officers she was forced on October 3rd at the Arbors of Century Center Apartments. She says an unknown man broke in through her children's window and made his way to her room. I had just turned over, like, to get comfortable to go to sleep. And I just felt a body hugging up against me. And when I looked back, it was him. She says the man then threatened to kill her. He pulled out his gun. He pointed at me. I just kept asking him, like, how you get in here? How you get in here? He's like, I don't even do all this. Just turn around and take your clothes off. Sanders says she feels she was targeted because she lives alone and believes the suspect was watching her because he kept referencing her girlfriend. I was begging to go see my kids, like... I won't go let him kill me. When he left, she immediately called her mother and friends. They then all called Memphis police for help. Sanders has now moved back home. After posting a warning to other women that's now been shared by thousands, she says other victims have also come forward claiming to have been by the same man. That's sick. He needs to get out the street real bad. Sanders has a warrant has since been issued for her accused but Memphis police could not confirm that information for us today. For now, reporting live in South Memphis, Bria Jones, WREG News Channel 3. I don't know why. They now they call it East Memphis, South Memphis. The century of Arbor is in, let's see, in East Memphis. Century of Arbor. I'm almost sure that that's East Memphis. That is on... 1400 Arbor Lane. Those apartments. I remember a time those apartments were so nice. They were. They were very, very nice. Um, okay, I know where that is. They're around Witten. Yeah. I thought I knew it. I, I used to. Actually, that's, a, that's really in Bartlett. In Witten, that's really Bartlett. I don't know if they've annexed it. I used to date a guy that lived over there years ago, and they were beautiful apartments. They were beautiful. I think they had just, um, they had just really built them. They were so they were gorgeous. Okay, and now this is what is happening. You know, I think that is is so sad. You know, and uh, the police department still didn't put out anything, as far as I know. This is something evidently the, because it was being shared on social media so many times. Um, you know, um, the news media decided to pick it up, and they said they still couldn't get the police department to tell them if they had put a warrant out. So evidently, they know who the man is. Like I said, stuff like this, and I know people say she probably this. No, if that man broke up in there, see, this is what people <clears throat> for, don't understand. Even if a woman knows a man and she says no, he he need to back up off of her because if she say no and he continue on, that's the R word. Okay, uh, but unfortunately, people are so sadistic and sick and self righteous. They feel like because I want it, it, it it's gonna be whatever I want. Okay, uh, and that's not how it works. But you heard him say other women have come forward. Now, what's gonna happen is because the people are on to him. What he gonna start doing is he gonna start taking women out because uh, oftentimes that's what 
sadistic stalkers and arpists, I'll say arpists, do, okay? Uh, they try to work themselves up to uh, taking the victims out because, I mean, that's the ultimate, uh, really, that's that, that's the ultimate, like, Ooh. fetish for them. That's Ooh. something that they really want to do Ooh. anyways, right? Unknown caller. Right? Ooh. Ooh. But I'm happy that the young lady was brave enough to come forward. And for them, like I said, to say, um, you know, for WREG to ask, is there a warrant out for his arrest? And they said that they could not answer that at that point. That that kind of lets me know that they know uh, who it is, right? They more than likely know who it is. But I think it's very unfortunate because I can remember um, every summer for many years in Beanhampton, there was a RAPIST, R-A-P-I-S-T, Okay. And that person to this day has never been caught. And it happened for many, many, many years. And um, to this day, um, that person hasn't been caught. And I can't say that it's not still happening because, you know, it's that's 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 the black hood being Hampson is. So they just don't care enough to to talk, you know, to to alert the people or talk about it. But as far as I know, it hasn't either. If it stopped, it's probably because the person somebody done he done croaked. OK, because he did it for so many years. He 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 probably old and, you know, he dead or, you know, hopefully he died or something, you know, um, but or he just got tired. It ain't it ain't, you know, but, you know, as far as uh, with the you have to think about stalkers and artists, um, they they have to be stopped because they can't stop because they're sick. Right. And so. um because most stalkers are, if you look at their history, they have a history of R-E-P-I-S-T being an R-E-P-I-S-T or, um, you know, taking women out or beating women, right? And so it's just, it's something about their hate for women and then they become fixated on certain women. They don't really know how to stop. It's like they can just see them on the internet and become very fixated on them, Right. Um, and, and when they have that sickness on the inside of them, they kind of get people to surround them with, with like and spirits, right? With like and spirits. Honeybee, how can I help you? Hi, this is Cindy calling about the new self-employed. Okay. They kind of get people to help them with, with like and spirits. Um, so, yeah, um, I'm happy that the young lady came forward because I still have not seen where, you know, uh, the sheriff's office or the police department is even talking about this to alert the women because it's happening in the African-American community. They still haven't said anything about the serial K that the officer was telling me about back even in May. And this is, this is sad that, you know, they don't think enough of the African-American women, you know, they just rather say that it was an accident or the person walked away from home, even though they left their purse, their children and contacted a family, got a job, got a life and all of that, because they don't want to uh, have to really look into it. It's just easy to write black folks out. Right. And so they never really do anything until it walks its way into the white community. But I'm going to tell you something about these niggas, these cuckabug heads. OK, even with them being sick and all, they're not going to walk into the white folks community because they know they're going to end up just like that guy who went over there with him, where that rich woman was. Uh, rest her soul. You know, I hate that happened. He because he's looking at the death chair, so they're gonna stay away from stuff like that. He was just sick, you know what I mean? Like, he already had a sickness, people wanted to make it something that it wasn't. What happened was he saw that woman running, he had seen her a couple times, and he decided that he wanted that woman and he waited on her, right? Um, so that was just a sickness that he could not, you know, when they sick, they can't stop, right? And so, um but yeah, he's 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 looking at the he's looking at the chair and gonna get it, okay. So, uh, but when they do it to these African American girls, you know, nothing happens. You know, I'm I'm sure folks probably go look at her and say, well, she probably knew him. I wouldn't give her f if she knew him or not. He ain't had no business breaking up into her house, doing nothing to her. Okay, I'm see that's the reason why a lot of these sick ass folks are getting away with what they're getting away with because you got women that's so damaged now that they help them. 
I ain't never seen so many darn women feel like they need to help these men to violate other women. But I know it's got a lot to do with mental illness also. Mental illness and then being hurt on the inside. You know, having a bad life, having a bad childhood. It happened to me. But I want to see somebody else suffer like I suffer. A lot of people need counseling. Right. And so what's happening is a lot of these men are, are using, okay, um, um, these women uh, to to help them to aid and abed in a lot of a lot of these atrocities that's going on. That's the reason why I always tell women to stand up, stand up and do whatever is necessary to make sure that you're not violated. OK, but yeah. Um, hey, I'm happy that the young lady was brave enough to show her face and to. Uh, even if she had not shown her face, but to tell her story to so that they could alert other women so that they can alert other women. You know, the area that she lives in right now used to be highly populated with white people. Right. So now a lot of blacks are out there now. Those apartments used to be very beautiful um, and they're still not bad looking apartments, but they're highly popular. They're considered the hood now. It used to be considered Bartley, but I think they went ahead and annexed the child. It's the hood now. So they made Bartlett on down. So once it crossed that line and get into Bartlett, which these cucklebug kids ain't going to do that. You know, we got to terrorize our own communities because if we goes over there messing with the white people, they're going to give me the chair. You need the chair. They really need the, they need the shotgun range or whatever they call the rifle range, whatever it is that they do down here in Mississippi when they line them up and, and blow them away, doing stuff like that. That's what they need. I don't, I don't, I don't have no type of 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 uh I, I don't care when you want the white people just to do them like that fuck them yeah as as far as i'm concerned they need to do more than that to them you mean to tell me you think i'm gonna holler about that i'm a man we i have a dream speech and do all that and stand in front of a a, a man that's r and women and see, I have to, I get real suspicious about men who uh, feel like it ain't nothing when men doing that to men, uh, women and kids. Because first of all, most men ain't going to even hang around them. They ain't going to hang around them. But when they uh, have excuses for it, it's because, you know, they either they're just like that or they've had thoughts of it. They just ain't had, they, they want to be around that dude so that they can figure out ways that they can do it and get away with it. That's the reason why I tell these women to uh, stay um, armed, okay? Stay armed and, um, and do what is necessary to protect yourself, okay? Because these folks are coming up into uh, people's houses, Okay, like 40 going north. They don't care. They are walking in the daytime because they have a sickness. Okay, they have a sickness. They want to belong. If somebody that's on crack, uh, tell them that's a stalker to go and fulfill their fantasy of trying to violate a person that they are obsessed with, they going if they on meds. Okay, or they if they got a sickness. Right, but I'm happy. You know, I want for the women in the Memphis and the surrounding areas to be careful, to be careful because this person is still out. Now, like I said, it makes it seem like they know who he is because the news asked them if they had um, put out a warrant for his arrest yet. So that makes me think, you know, the, then the young lady said that he's been doing that to other women that have come forward. Okay. So like I said, whether she knew him or not, if he had no business breaking up in there doing it. Okay. But anyways, you guys, I just wanted to put that into the atmosphere. Protect yourself. Uh, keep your head on swivel. If something don't seem right, you know, um, do what is necessary. And to these women that are having issues with uh, these men on social media, go file reports on them. Make sure you get that stuff on file and get it on file about the people. Because see, what they're doing is a lot of them are cowards. OK, they would love to be able to violate you and some will. OK, but so what they're doing now, they're so sadistic. They think they're smart. They're getting people that they know are weak minded and mentally ill uh, to carry out their fantasy. Right. Because it is all about being able to violate you. 
okay? And they're doing that cyberly. So if they become fixated on you, they make sure that they start connecting with people that are in your area, but they have to find weak folks because people with strong minds ain't going to let nobody else, especially a crackhead or, or a sadistic person, send them out. So they look for special kind of people that they know are sick or uh, that are mentally ill in your area that they can control to try and carry out, okay? whatever whatever their fetish is and their obsession is as it relates to you foul reports okay and who cares if they're fouling they're going to try and counter that that that's you know let them that's a that's a good thing let them keep doing it okay but anyways you guys i want you guys to please like share and subscribe if you would like to support the channel you could definitely support the channel via via cash app you guys be careful out there okay talk with you later